Leading Britain's conversation. LBC with Majid Noirs. Good afternoon. Going straight back to the calls to try and get in as many as possible before we move to the topic of magic mushrooms. 03456060973. Thomas wants to speak to us from Worthing. Go for it, Thomas. Good afternoon. Welcome. Um, I've just sent you some uh, tweets of images that have been plucked from um, associates of uh, Lisa Forbes. This is the Peterborough winning Labour Party candidate. Just now, and, Thomas. Sorry? Just now. Have yes, you done I that? Did. Let me check. What's your Twitter handle? Uh, it's Thomas Evans uh, SDP. Okay, let me have a look while you're speaking. Carry on. So, um, the Labour Party and Corbyn have dismissed uh, accusations of anti-Semitism on the basis that she had just inadvertently liked a video that had uh, anti-Semitic elements to it. That's a lie. She actually commented favourably on a virulently anti-Semitic message, mm. you know, drawing conflations between Israel and supposedly, you know, funding the um, uh, ISIS, that kind of thing. Are, you, are you Thomas Evans SDP? Is that you? Yeah, right. yeah, that's me. In, in, it's this particular nasty circle you want to pay attention to on Facebook, yes, which she's it. surrounded by. The and moment. There's, uh, there's another tweet after that with more images as well. Now, she's Lisa Forbes has surrounded herself with a circle of virulent anti-Semites. Mm. There's a long documented history of communication between her and these individuals who, you know, claim that you know, there's no Islamic element behind 9-11 and mm. that, you know, all the terrorist organisations throughout the Middle East are funded by Mossad and all this, you know, anti-Semitic traits. And it's just gone completely ignored. Mm. And, I mean, this... I know the message she originally re responded to was four, four or five years ago. The individual that posted that message she was in communication with two weeks ago during the height of this election campaign. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's right up till now and she still has questions to answer because, I mean, she's, she's still in communication on Facebook with these individuals. Mm, so so the, the, the thread in which she's um, posted the uh, controversial comment, I've enjoyed reading this thread so much. Yeah. That that's the, what got her in trouble because it was that thread that claimed that the CIA and Mossad supported yeah. ISIS. Now so, that person, according mm. to the tweets and the images you've sent me, Thomas, is called yeah. Ismail Ibn Said on Facebook. Yeah. Um, he, she, according to to these images you've sent me, on the twenty third of May, he yeah. defended Lisa Forbes MP, and Lisa Forbes uh, responded in the thread uh, by thanking. Yeah. by thanking uh, one of the people in the thread that encourages uh, the, the Ismail Ibn Said's defense of her. Uh, yeah. She says, thanks. And then, of course, that person replies and says, you're welcome, my lovely. You're right. But at least from the 23rd of May, she's still in touch with these people on Facebook. She's on their friends list. She obviously sees their posts on Facebook on a daily message. I, I, I presume you use Facebook. So you see, you know, when people post messages, you see what they say. He posts virulently anti-Semitic messages on a daily basis. And she know, she must know about that. I mean, she, this individual in particular, he's posted these videos alleging a whole manner of uh, utterly repugnant things about the state of Israel. And there's absolutely no way that she doesn't know about this. I mean, I've spoken to you before. Mm. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm formerly UKIP. I've seen, unfortunately, UKIP members posting racist and unpleasant things. I always report this because I see it. And, you know, there's there's no possibility that she's not seen this disgusting rhetoric. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's not a simple case of sending her off on some course to re-educate her or anything. She is... She's somebody that's got a history of systematic and fundamental anti-Semitism, and mm. there's no way that the Labour Party can shrug their way past this. I mean, I saw uh, Barry Gardner on the Andrew Marr show earlier. He said that um, if, you know, Michael Gove can be forgiven for taking drugs, um, then uh, then Lisa Forbes can be forgiven for, for liking a, a couple of anti-Semitic Facebook messages. It's mm. not as simple as that. Unbelievable. And it's, it's that time somebody unreal. started pressuring the Labour Party about this, because it's... It's becoming a weekly thing. Well, the chap that you're, the, the chap that the screen grabs you've sent me, that she was in touch with uh, as recently as the 23rd of May, is the chap yeah. that basically said Mossad and CIA were behind creating ISIS. That chap that she's mm -hmm. been in touch with since the 23rd of May, again, according to the screen grabs you've sent me, yeah. Ismail Ibn Said has said there was nothing in those posts that justified anti-Semitism allegations. Lisa yeah. got bullied into confessing an apology. A lesson learned. Stick by your morals and never trust the press. So the chap himself that Lisa thanks in the posts you've sent me, Mm -hmm. still doesn't accept uh, that claiming that CIA and Mossad were behind creating ISIS is an anti-Semitic slur. No. And 
I mean, where, where is the pressure? Where is the pressure for the, for the Labour Party to explain this? I mean, it's not, it's not just... I keep saying this because it's all the Labour Party are responding to with regards to this. It's not just likes. It's actual comments. It's actual responses to virulently anti-Semitic content. Yeah. It is amazing that the Labour Party continues to get away with this. And I'm really hoping the uh, the Human Rights Commission properly come down on the Labour Party about this because the Labour Party under Jeremy Corbyn with this this spike in anti-Semitism, which I've been I've been covering for three years now, mm. is not getting the attention it deserves, mm. and it needs to be completely wiped out. Yeah. All right, Thomas. Thank you for calling in from Worthing.